watch the show on Saturday night to see how they respond? I, I, maybe I will. Maybe I will. <laughs> I, mean, I usually don't, but it's, uh, maybe I will this maybe time. Maybe this time you yeah, might, right? That's a good point. Um, Ah, he sure knew how to keep a secret. Lieutenant Commander Dan Crenshaw, re recently elected to represent Texas' second district in Congress, got his chance over the weekend to fire back at Pete Davidson on Saturday Night Live after Davidson mocked his war injury the prior week. I'm sorry. Thank you, Pete. I appreciate you saying that. So we good? We're good. Apology accepted. Just keep breathing. <laughs> it, just, it sounds like my phone's ringing. Well, cool, man. Yeah. This is Pete Davidson. He looks like if the meth from Breaking Bad was a person. <laughs> Not bad. That was pretty funny. Uh, Crenshaw earned universal praise for what he said next, though. Watch this. But seriously, there's a lot of lessons to learn here. Not just that the left and right can still agree on some things, but also this, Americans can forgive one another. We can remember what brings us together as a country and still see the good in each other. This is Veterans Day weekend, which means that it's a good time for every American to connect with a veteran. Maybe say thanks for your service, but I would actually encourage you to say something else. Tell a veteran, never forget. When you say never forget to a veteran, you are implying that as an American, you are in it with them not separated by some imaginary barrier between civilians and veterans, but connected together as grateful fellow Americans who will never forget the sacrifices made by veterans past and present and never forget those we lost on 9-11, heroes like Pete's father. So I'll just say, Pete, never forget. Never forget. And that is for both of us. Amen to that. And joining me now exclusively, Texas Congressman-elect and former Navy SEAL, Lieutenant Commander Dan Crenshaw. Dan, you, li you lied to me. Did you know you were going to Saturday Night Live? I, I knew that was going to be your first question. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I, I've come here uh, with, for my reckoning and my apology. <laughs> I, I am sorry. I may have known. I, I may no, have known. They, they I, made me I, promise. I get it. You had to keep a secret. You know what? Our executive producer, though, is a pretty smart guy, and he figured it out. And he texted me on the way home and said, wait a minute. I know why he's in New York. Um, so how did you like being out there? You're a pretty good actor, too. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, Steven Spielberg was behind the scenes, and, and uh, he gave me really? a compliment as well. Ooh. Yeah. I Maybe was, there's I was movies in your future after you, get, after you get through the Congress uh, I don't thing. Know. Um, I don't know. So when, when you met path. Pete Davidson, how did you guys get along? How, how did it go at first? Oh, pr pretty well. You know, I... Uh, my take on it was that they genuinely didn't really mean it uh, the way it came out. Um, I think they were sincerely apologetic and wanted to make it right. And they really wanted to do it that weekend um, because it was Veterans Day mm -hmm. and because it was an opportunity to send a message about veterans and, and, and unity and um, what we can actually still agree on as Americans. And so I, th I think it was really good. Well, I think it's great that you were forgiving, and I, I love that you talk about the importance of being able to forgive each other. I feel like we live in this society where everything is, you know, a fireable offense, and there's nothing that falls short of that, and you can't say you're sorry and be sincere. Um, and so now you're going to D.C., and I, I do want to ask you a couple quick questions about what you plan to do there, because I know one of the things you want to do, you said, is to make more people young Republicans. Um, how do you plan to do that? Well, <laughs> it's not easy. It's not easy, but I think it starts by explaining our values in, in maybe different ways, uh, ways that aren't necessarily sloganeering or talking points, but explaining what we mean by limited government. Okay, where do you want your problem solved? Do you want them solved by a local representative who, who you can, you know, you can go down the street and knock on their door? Or do you really want problems solved by federal bureaucrats in Washington? I and mean, we have to explain what we mean by things like limited government, by responsible government, sustainable government. Can we really afford all the things we're talking about? Uh, doing or spending on? You know, the answer is no, we can't. My generation should take a special interest in that because we are the ones who are going to be paying that debt down. And uh, we have to wake up and look at the hard problems and, and, and the, the increasing debt and entitlement reform issues and on all of these things because our, it falls on our generation's shoulders. 
You know, I mean, maybe you and Pete Davidson should do a college tour. Um, it would be really, you know, idea. interesting to, to hear uh, both of you because I think on college campuses there's just sort of one point of view, and that's one of the problems. So then, you know, you graduate a lot of people who are all thinking exactly the same thing, and it, it just makes it difficult for people to have, uh, you know, an understanding of what each side I is all about. You know, in terms of veterans, you say you're really proud to be part of 15 veterans who are going to become members of Congress when you get mm -hmm. there in January. What's your message? in terms of, of service and the way the nation needs to, to approach it and to be better to our veterans. Well, I would say the good thing about veterans in Congress is that when we look at each other, even on different sides of the aisle, we can at least assume that we started in life uh, serving before politics, mm -hmm. right? So there's an element of, of trust there. Uh, you know, what can we do for veterans? You know, let's start with never forget, right? Let's start with being a team. Let's start with, with, with knowing that we are all on the same side and that we never forget each other's sacrifices and, and, and never forget why veterans do what they're doing, why our current active duty service members are still doing what they're doing, and um, we can trace this back to the tax like 9-11. Well, we will never forget your service, and we thank you for that. And we have a really special story coming up along these lines as well. Uh, Dan Crenshaw, thanks a lot. Great to see you okay. again. Don't be a stranger. Yeah, thanks for Look having forward me. to having you back.